Welcome to the Grammarian's Deck. So today we are going to be looking at how people have misused this particular pure sound or this uh, particular uh, monophthon to become a diphthon in a word when this is actually not a diphthon but a monophthon, a singular sound and they are representing it as as a, a diphthong. We don't actually blame them because they are not grammarians. So we are trying to make sure that people make the proper pronunciation and articulation each time they speak. Let's start with this word, I-N-T-E-S-T-I-N-E. A -E. full time, or even right now, you hear people uh, over the internet or in classroom, even biology teachers, pronouncing this word as intestine, intestine. They think that the E sound here is a diphthong, but no, the correct pronunciation of this word is intestine. Intestine, not intestine. Number two is favorite. This word is pronounced as favorite, not favorite, because there is no diphthong in that word. Number three is masculine. The correct pronunciation of this word is masculine. There is no diphthong here. Masculine, not masculine. Same thing goes with feminine, not feminine. Not feminine. There is no diphthong here. I remember that this misrepresentation is concerning short vowel A being pronounced as though it's a diphthong in a way so that will also make me to compare the short vowel a the short vowel a with the long vowel a now i'm going to introduce this in what i refer to as the diagraph a diagraph is simply a combination of letters that forms a singular phoneme when i say phoneme i mean a singular pure sound or a singular monophthon how does that work the, when two letters form just one sound or one phoneme it's refers to as a, a diagraph and this diagraph is not the same as diphthongs they are not diphthongs how do i exemplify this for instance this word esophagus esophagus i hear some people say esophagus you know i told you in the last video that the short sound is the hardest english sound so this is esophagus there is the here is the uh, the d graph the d graph is here so we have a uh, long vowel a representing long vowel, long vowel a something is applicable to words like estrus estrus where the d graph is here even words like isaac that is why this word wouldn't be pronounced like Isaac, but Isaac because of D graph. But this D graph, you must know, is not a general rule because there are some places where the D graph does not apply. Places like, or, or words like this, so you don't generalize the rule in its application. When you see a word like this, this is not he. No, this is still ho. This is still ho. I, I hope you find this uh, video helpful, and if you do, Please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much.